Hey friends, welcome to Christy Reacts. If you're new here, I'm Christy, and here's where we watch all the shows and movies that you recommend. And if you're here to watch with me the best show in the world, welcome back. I am also back. I took a five day break from recording over the holidays, but now I feel refreshed and full and gifted and ready to jump right back into the drama-filled family that is The Sopranos. Quick recap, Richie continues to act erratic after he crippled Beansy and then went and ruined the executive game. And in the game we saw Davey who is just such a mess and now owes Tony a lot of money. Even though Tony tried to warn him and asked him to not play, but he insisted. And now he owes Tony a lot of money and try to pay off part of his debt by giving him his son's Jeep. Tony then tried to give the Jeep to Meadow, but Meadow was friends with his son, so she didn't take the gift. Furious presence in the family is starting to shift the power dynamics. Now he is Tony's right hand man. So Polly and Silvio got a promotion and now Big P report to both of them. And lastly, I think Christopher is starting to give up on his dream of being in the entertainment industry. He was a good actor in his acting class, but then I think he got too frustrated and beat up another acting student and then went and got rid of all of his scripts. Okay, I'm eager to jump in. I got my headphones and my hydration station and let's do it. Every time I hear this song, it's like Pavlov's dogs. I start salivating like, ooh, what's gonna happen now? <laughs> AJ! Oh Holy shit. Oh, Vach, how you Hey, doing? how's it going? Vach approved. How you doing, man? How's your broccoli? Adriana, this is my cousin Gregory, the ambulance chaser. Hi. Nice to meet you. This is my fiance, Amy Sophia. Your earrings are so excellent. Thank you. Your earrings are excellent. Christopher said you're here shooting a movie. That must be so interesting. This is the first project I brought in to John. Who's John? John Favreau. She's head of... John Favreau. So, Christopher, how goes the screenplay? It's one of the best I've ever read. <laughs> Oof. Rude. <laughs> what do you do, Adriana? Well, right now, I I'm in the food service industry. <laughs> <gasps> Christopher. Yes, Christopher. You, a bridge and tunnel boy, chill out. I wonder what he said. I'm Christopher Moltisanti. I'm with the Soprano family. Oh my gosh, she's impressed. Look at her, she loved that. She seems so down to earth for a Hollywood person. What's with those clothes? She in the fucking Adams family? <laughs> That's Prada. <laughs> Damn, Adriana. Seriously. Bellhop. John Favreau, he's great. You should show him your script. Swingers, he can suck my dick. That swings too. <laughs> Be a player. What well, would we'll go to the set? She invited us. I don't even have the thing. Threw it away. What? <laughs> you have a copy? Hey, Jan, I told you. I'm not interested. I believe in you. I love Adriana. She's so supportive and sweet and also smoking. And she's good for him. She's good for Christopher. You stole my car. Where is the trust in this house? Oh, you really want to get into this, huh? Who was that man that we had to pick up at camp last year for bedwetting? You could have killed those girls. Now, that would have been interesting. Death just shows the ultimate absurdity of life. What is this? <laughs> life is absurd. God forgive you. Oh god. There is no god. Oh hey, god. Where is this coming from? Do you ever think like I mean, why are we born? Madame de Stael said in life one must choose between boredom and suffering. Go to your room. <laughs> I love when the kids are growing up and starting to think on their own. We were born because of Adam and Eve. That's why. Oh god, why. gosh. Why Chuck? Why could Chuck? Waldemar why Chuck? You had lobster fried Diablo with him in Atlantic City on the 14th of this month. He got blown up? Fuck. What do you want me to say? Philadelphia's been putting pressure on the shy business? That's been going on since Moses wore short pants. 
<laughs> Tony's still resisting the Philly overtures. <laughs> it's my wife who hates me. You know what this looks like? I'm doing all I can to help you guys. One time, Tony bought a pool table from Wise Chuck. Yeah. And he asked me, if there's no God, why was I born? He tells me he's got no purpose. And how'd you answer him? I told him it cost about 150 grand to bring him up so far, so if he's got no purpose, I want a fucking refund. Are you angry with Anthony Jr. about the car? They can't put shit back on the donkey. It's a sort of crap. <laughs> but that's not normal. I never heard the shit donkey saying before. How is your mother? She's dead to me. Hmm. And how's Anthony Jr. been taking it? What? About the family? About your non-relationship with his grandmother. And in general, the whole strain of the current atmosphere in your household. But that don't give him the right to mouth off. Anthony Jr. may have stumbled onto existentialism. Mm -hmm. Fucking internet. No, no, no. Fucking internet. In your family, even motherhood is up for debate. No, it's not. I teach him to love and respect and appreciate his mother. What about your mother? Anthony, I think it's important we talk about your mother and what she tried to do to you. Don't need to. I think you do need to. When some people first realize that they're solely responsible for their decisions, actions, and beliefs, and that death lies at the end of every road, they can be overcome with intense dread. A dull, aching anger that leads them to conclude that the only absolute truth is death. Where's the I think lie? The kids are something. <laughs> exactly. John, this is Christopher. John Favreau. Playing himself. Seriously, this guy's set everywhere. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I thought you. There's a guy from Los Angeles Magazine coming down here to do a story on, you know, my favorite place for breakfast. But you're the, uh, the guy from Jersey, right? Yeah. Michelle Foreman, our, uh, our director. She's from Jersey. You see your first picture? She's a director. Beautiful film. <laughs> I didn't realize, like, how relevant Favreau was like everywhere sober you bitch <gasps> don't do it but Michelle I'm sorry. Sec I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry can we cut for a second well I mean is there anything other than bitch bukyak what is bukyak that sounds okay okay let's roll nope. what does it mean cunt <gasps> it's not no god just god is dead who said that Mitch. Your confirmation's coming up this week and you are getting confirmed. That sucks my nut. Hey. You got a lot of balls, you know that? <gasps> hey. Bro, relax. You brought us your script. Yeah, but come on, let's see it. Here's the thing. Your script is set in a world that I'm interested in doing my next project on. A picture on the life of, of crazy Joe Gallo. You was Joey Gallo. I don't see that. Hey, but I'm part Italian. I could play Joey Gallo, but I don't want to be an actor unless I can play myself. Listen, ever since Amy told me about you, I thought maybe we could work together, you know? This is your chance. This is your chance, Chris. This is what you wanted. You wanted to get into the business. Three years old when he got whacked. Yeah, but speech patterns. I mean, you saw swingers. Whatever you think of that motherfucker, man, it's like, you could tell it's extremely important to me how people really talk. I guess it is a long time ago. Yeah, you wouldn't be betraying any oath thing. But also, Holy he has to be careful. shit, that thing is still alive? About sharing too much about... If I told you 15 years ago that she was a piece of ass, would you believe me? This made guy, right? Got the most discriminating eye when it comes to TNA. She starts blowing him next to this swing set, right? And grabs hold of a goddamn prick. <gasps> Jesus Christ. So oh he gets God. this fucking acid, you know? Burns everything. She had to get a glass eye. Oh my God. What's the matter? A kid. Used to be happy go lucky, you know, now he's moody. He questions a fucking universe. They talk like father like son, huh? Mm-hmm. There was confirmation sponsor for Christ's sake. Do something with him. <gasps> Why is he gonna be the sponsor? You don't trust him, remember? I was hanging out with John. It's a Koopa? Favreau. You are? Yes. Why didn't you call? Yeah, it's shitty you didn't call her. I would be upset too. Sometimes you gotta do things you don't want to. Mm. And I'm talking about your confirmation here. 
I don't want to get confirmed. Leave AJ alone. Let him have his, th his thoughts. I'm here to see uh, John Favreau. Sorry, sir. Mr. Favreau has requested not to be disturbed. Would you see if Amy Safi is in? Hey. Come on in. That's a big room for New York. You want some coffee? No, I can't stay. I got some business to take care of. If they ever knew I was into this, I mean, what I'm saying is, uh, this kind of thing's unacceptable where I come from. That's what I'm saying, bruv. You have to be really careful about what you tell them. I think it's, it's got some real heart, some good raw emotion in it. You should probably try and finish it. Here, sit. I'll show you. Why is she still wearing a robe? Go put some clothes on. This is your boyfriend's cousin. If you check the scene where Rocco. Why are they so close? Two Asian strippers. That's a plot point. Why is she on top of him? So you like my scoop? <sighs> it's very good. Oh, Chris, please don't do this. The need to understand. No! Oh my god. Bro, Adriana's uncle is Richie, and he warned you from day one to not mess with her. I'm so disappointed in him. Adriana's so good to him, and this girl, you don't even know her. And don't lie to me. I know your father forbids you're coming down here. Oh. He doesn't, honest. He just doesn't want us to talk about you in the house. Now, what'd you do bad? My dad doesn't like my attitude. Well, what'd you do? I took mom's car out of the garage, and it got wrecked. Did you wear your safety belt? Yeah. Because there was an article in the paper the other day about a bunch of teenagers. They overcrowded their car. It hit a tree and it incinerated. Oh my God. And they got trapped. Oh my the God. The safety belts did it. See, that's what I mean. What's the purpose? I feel like existentialism is common at that age. And if you want my advice, Anthony, don't expect happiness. You won't get it. People let you down. Oh my gosh. And I you're making it worse. You're terrible, Olivia. You mind if I ask you something? You, uh, you strapped right now? He's just so interested in that life and the mafia situation. Fuck. Have you ever, uh, have I ever what? Come on. You Bro. Know. No, what? No, that's cool, man. I'm, I'm sorry. No, come on. You can ask nah, me. Man, come, on, cool. come on, come on. It's cool. Come on. What, yeah, what, just what, take what, it back. Just take what? it back. Yeah. Oh, my God. Come on. Come, on. Come, on. Come, on. come on. Leave him alone. Oh, my gosh. Don't act crazy, Chris. So what'd you think of my script? Well, uh, well, you, you know, like Frankie? He's, um, he's kind of, kind of like a, a contradictory character in, in a good way, you know, like complex. How so? Tell us more. You think you should wear those taps on his shoes? Yeah, now see, that's, that's the question I was gonna ask you. They sound cool, there is trademark, but in the hit against Rocco, somebody's gonna hear him walking on the roof. It just, it, it begs to, to, to show more of the author in it. Your life, your vision. The roof is soft tar. That would work. Does it suck? Just tell him. Yeah, and the, and the father could, you know, could go blind sooner and, and then, then he could smell the tar on, on, on Frankie's shoes, and then, then, then he knows that, that his son's the, the killer. Holy fuck, that's fucking great! That Frankie's gotta put one in his old man's head! Blam! Then another one! Blam! Mwah! <laughs> Is he nervous? <laughs> you feel okay, Christopher? We were just discussing Anna's wedding. What about you guys? What about who guys? We should make it a double wedding. First, someone has to propose. Adriana, he cheated on you. Has uh, Anna chosen her caterer yet? She booked Villa de Roma. Good. Because if you ask me, Caravaggio's is slipping. Enough! I'm so sick and tired of hearing you people talk about food, food, food. And when you're married, you'll understand the importance of fresh produce. <laughs> Why is he being so rude? Oh. Fuck him. I tried so hard to be supportive with, with with his art and with getting his screenplay made. His screenplay? <sighs> no. hey, you know, we're wiring you for the confirmation. You're a fucking prick. You think I'm wearing a wire in God's house? house. You miserable motherfucker. I'm the kid's sponsor. Yeah, oh we're my fucking God. sponsoring you, motherfucker. Why doesn't he... He did it once. Why doesn't he just pick up his stuff and leave again? Pussy, he's under a lot of stress and they're pressuring him. You know, I was thinking we could uh, stop down at Umberto's. Excellent. I'll just change real quick. Oh. 
remember back in the day when I was able to do two things in one night. Like, let's go there, and then let's go there. That's no more. I miss it. You want to see my shoes? Hmm? Oh my god, no more. I don't like this affair. So what'd your father do? I thought you were going to Umberto's. So, that, uh, that blonde guy in the club the other night, what'd you say to him? Ah, that's for me to know. <laughs> what? I also want to know. I told him, be a good boy and I'll let this girl blow you after. You want to shag another skinny guinea? Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck me. My cousin. <gasps> I'm not a terrible person. Mm, I hope you don't throw your life away with Adriana just to be with Amy, who is from California. He's going to go back. Fucking shit. What? He used it. What? The friend of mine, Stone Wise Guy, John used his whole fucking story. Does she mail in the acid? It's <gasps> all here. No. I told you you have to be careful about what you share, Christopher, but you don't listen to me. Don't, Put a don't, shirt don't. on. He's Put a shirt Come on. How mad could your friend get? 12 4 checked out. Where is he? Oh my god, Chris. That is so dangerous. Would you let me in already? I need to put my face on. <laughs> oh man, you're gonna be wired up for the confirmation. Yeah, well the only goddamn mirror with any good light is in there. Did you fucking mirror? Oh, <gasps> He's shaving? Oh, so it can stick. Okay, makes sense. Oh my god. Kill you. Jesus Christ, the fuck's with you? Ah, uh, that's what stress does to you. Makes you crazy. What is this shit? You don't return my fucking messages? I'm flying into LA this afternoon. We'll touch base. No. Threaten them. Tell them they will get in trouble. Chris, it was wrong with us and, and Greg and all that. I really liked you. Really? You fucking D-girl! Excuse me, I'm a vice president! You fucking asshole! I'm a vice president. Bro, you have to do something about it. They cannot use that story. You're gonna have to threaten them, like, mafia style. Be like, use this story, you'll never sleep well again. Because I'll be waiting until you're caught off guard. And I'll clip ya. Or something. I don't know how they, how did the words they use. Hi, I'm Janice Soprano. Oh, you're Janice now? Oh, I heard we won't be bothering anymore if my neighbor wife's Chuck. No neighbor of mine. What'd you hear on that? Don't start asking questions, Sal. You're gonna give yourself away. Here. <gasps> oh. Oh, shit. <gasps> you too. Oh, boy. What is that smell? What kind of animal smokes marijuana at his own confirmation? <laughs> oh man, they have their hands full with AJ. Bro, they asked you to mingle. Fucking kids down in the garage getting high. All right, let me talk. I know him. I was 16 years old and my kid sister Nucci, she had the spinal meningitis and she got to a point where she couldn't breathe and she was in the hospital and your father, he was the only one, he came with me every day. He mm. sat by her bed, he looked at her drawings. I was down there waiting online for a hamburger when she passed away. Mm. See, you know what really pisses me off about my dad? He did all these great things, then, before he was my dad. Your father would catch a bullet for you, don't mm -hmm. you ever forget that. He's a stand-up guy. Then why are you doing this, Big P? Now go down and enjoy your party. Make your parents happy. Come here. Give Uncle Pussy a hug. <laughs> Get out of here. If you are still here, then I'm gonna assume that you got no other desire in the world but to be with me. And your actions will show me that every fucking second of every fucking day. Nice. What are you thinking, Chris? It was the Godfather. Is he crying? 
Yeah, he broke down. The pressure. You're cornered. I love seeing Jean Favreau here. If I can get in there, that means I probably can get into Berkeley. Over my dead body. Why? In the San Francisco Bay Area than anywhere on the planet. Nobel Prize for what? Pack and fudge? <gasps> Tony. Sean, without fail, every time I want a fucking job. The adrenaline affects everybody differently. <laughs> what is this obsession with Berkeley? What, is she trying to get away from us? I mean... Absolutely. She's in the National Honor Society, for Christ's sake. Grades, great SAT scores, it's not enough anymore. It's all who you know or how many buildings you give. Yeah, that's true. Big donations. Sit down, for Christ's sake. I want to talk to you about Beansy Gator. You know, he may never walk again. Never say never. No. Say never. Gross. I hate you, Richie. You should help him out. Help him out? You should build him a ramp on his house. For the wheelchair. Are you fucking serious? Richie, it's a gesture. The man has a lot of friends. I'll build the ramp up to your ass. Drive a Lionel up in there. Richie needs an attitude adjustment. Um, Jeannie? Jeannie, I need to ask you a favor. I was wondering if you would ask your sister to write Meadow a letter of recommendation. Is that too far? Really, Jeannie, if there is any way you could find your way to helping me out here. Come on, Jeannie. It's not like you're writing it. Richie, could you excuse us for a moment, dear? No, don't leave. He's fine. No, don't leave. Just stay right out in the hall. Oh my god, I would be traumatized to see Richie. Whose idea was the ramp? What ramp? Okay, I'll leave. But if you go crying to Tony Soprano one more time, I'm gonna send your arms where your legs are. Richie is despicable, honestly. Like, what a trash person to exist. And Tony needs to take care of him somehow. Just... Let me in, I gotta talk to her. You were not welcome in this house. <gasps> Don't be like that, Adrian. I love you. I'm going crazy here, I miss you. I'm dialing 911. Give me the phone. Go in the other room. <gasps> Ow. Ow. Oh my God. I want to marry you. Got your ring and everything. Don't listen to a maid. He's been jerking you around for three years. Yeah, You're and that's, wasting your... And that's no way to propose. Ma, would you leave us alone, okay? Adriana. I hear you sobbing in your bed at night. When you get hurt next time, this door is close to you. Oh, dang. Oh, my God. Oh, Christopher! That's no way to propose. She deserves better. Oh, look who's here. I wonder why the squirrels went quiet. <laughs> so what brings you to an English-speaking neighborhood? <laughs> Said I gotta build a fucking ramp on Beansy's house. Yeah, I know. Richie, build Beansy the ramp. Terrible accident that kid had. Hmm. Yeah, it's done. I got something for you. What's this? What's this? It's the jacket! The jacket! I took off Rocco de Mayo. <gasps> yeah, yeah, it's a nice jacket. He's not into the jacket. I don't think he wears those kinds of jacket anyway. That's it. That's it. Perfect. <laughs> what is it? Is it an acceptance letter? Oh, cool. Oh, she has to resubmit the application with complete documents. Oh, <gasps> Carmela. The kick upstairs to Tony Soprano will be an honor. He the man. Oh my God, this guy's always pooping. I the man, who the man? Are we not men? These two goons, they're the worst. I don't really like them. Carmela's tormented by Meadow's school situation. Oh, does she feel bad that she threw it away? Gross, Carmela. Why threw it away? Can I help you? Miss Gaeta, we had to put in the ramp. What ramp? For your husband. Who sent you over here? Uh, Richie April. Get out of here. I don't want anything to do with that man after what he did to Peter. Yeah, seriously. She's got her problems, <clears throat> but I'm not going to tell Richie this is not getting done.
bunch of people coming out of that van. You've been doing some things with Christopher Maltesante, huh? Yeah, you know, this and that. Yeah, well, the kid has his good points. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm not saying anything against him. He's my homie. Fellas, come on. Time's up. Let's go, huh? Richie, it was good meeting you. If there's ever anything you can do for me, uh, let me know. What do they want? What do they want meeting Richie? Hi. Oh, are these two twins? Oh my God. But Carmela Soprano from next door trapped me and asked me if I'd ask you to write her daughter a letter of recommendation to Georgetown. She just blindsided me in the backyard and what was I supposed to say? That I'm busy, which I am. She did say that. She did say that. Carmela asked me, Joan, what are you frightened? <laughs> yeah. I have a reputation to protect. I knew you wouldn't do it. This has to be the same actress playing the sisters. That's what I missed all those years. You are always welcome, Richie. Mm. I hope everyone's hungry for crown roast. Oh, let me no, 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 Ma, sit down, sit down, sit down. Janice, sit. I have everything under control. <laughs> she was sad. I want to compliment wow. you on your behavior out there. Hey, I want him where I can see him. That's what we mean when we say family. Hello? Carmela? Hi. It's Jeannie Cusimano. Or is it the sister? Listen, Carmela, I spoke to my sister and she's sorry, but she just can't do it. I'm sorry. She can't? Why not? Well, because she already wrote a letter for someone else. So what does that mean? She can't send two? Did you think about asking one of the priests at the church? No, uh, not Father Intentola. Oh. <laughs> Joan, hi. Is this a bad time? Always. <laughs> Uh, listen, Carmela, I think I know why you're here. Well, I thought you would at least want to take a look at her grades and her SAT scores. I'm sorry, Carmela, but I can't do it. I don't think you understand. I want you to write that letter. So what? She said no. Thanks for this. Carmela. Wow. I think I really like that, Carmela. Whoa, that's the kid that fits me above. Holy fuck, that's shit. <laughs> You should have at least said hello. <laughs> My God, they want to impress Tony, and you're gonna ambush him in the bathroom? Hey Tony, how the fuck's it going? I don't. My drink was evil Bevelago's nephew. My partner, Sean, just mine. Just so you know, Chris spoke to us about it. he wanted. We should give you a taste from the safe. Jesus fucking Christ, you stupid little shitty twat! You ever hear wire taps? Yeah, don't have those conversations. What is so important you're gonna make a man late for the first post? I love the meetings that happen out here. It's a jacket. It's in the car. What, you want back? <laughs> Amela? Oh, hi. She sat right down and wrote a terrific letter to Georgetown. Wow. That's wonderful. Yeah. Do you have a copy? No, but I'll get you one. No problem. They're scared. <laughs> they were scared of her. These two idiots, Christopher always finds idiot people to work for him. Remember Brendan? He was also kind of dumb. Okay. Oh, Furio. Look at him. I like him. We are for the money. Sean, get out of the right here. <laughs> Give me $1,000. Christopher said 10%. This is bullshit. I would. Just because it's Furio and I wouldn't want to infuriate Furio. Ha. Uh. Have a nice day. <laughs> T was right. He set me straight, that shit he said to me. No drugs. I am the prize. Yes. I'm back on track, Adrian. I like them. I like them. Chris, you need to stop messing up. Rededicate yourself. No more distractions. Eyes on the prize. This is a thank you for Sunday dinner. Some tripe and tomatoes I made. <gasps> oh my god, the kids are gonna freak out when they see this. <laughs> what is it? Tripa? What's tripe? Like tripe? Like intestines? What is it? Mrs. Carmela. Sorry, but my husband has come to get the extra TV set from the basement. You said I could have. Sure, go right ahead. <laughs> uh, Liliana, the remote is down there somewhere, too. It's on the shelves. He's wearing the jacket. I'm fine. I gotta go. Oh, man, is he offended. This is fucked. Or like two fucking scared rabbits or something. Douchebag. Don't say that. We're just getting started. Yeah. You gotta start from the bottom. What's going on? 
here's something that's been bothering me. I gave my daughter a car. So the thing is, oh, it, it, I thought it was belonged to a friend of hers from school. What's bothering you? I must have known that she'd know that it was this fucking kid Eric's car and mm -hmm. uh, how I got it. You know, and she'd freak out. I mean, for all these years, I've been shielding her and protecting her from certain truths. So now what, I want to rub her nose in it? Any thoughts on that? So it becomes my fault that he lost his kid's car? Maybe that's what you were saying to your daughter. What? By giving her the SUV, wanting her to confront some of these moral ambiguities. English. Meadow's going to be going away to college next year, leaving the nest. Not those fucking ducks again. <laughs> we're getting to something here. Time's up. Look, we still have time and we're doing good work. Fine. I'll sit here. But I got nothing else to say. Tony. Stop being so resistant. I mean, you're here for a reason. Yo, Christopher, what's up? Hey, what's up, man? <gasps> what? <laughs> oh! What? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Why did they do that? <gasps> no. No, not Christopher. You know what happened to Christopher Moltisanti? Yeah, somebody blew him up. Yeah, it was us, me and Short. What the fuck are you doing here? We did it for you as a favor. What? You gotta help me, man. I'll help you. I'll fucking help you. You gotta hide me. I'm with you now. No. Oh, my God. Uh, Chris. How could this happen? At least he's not dead. I thought he was dead. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a lot to unpack. Let's get into it. That was intense and unexpected, but really quick, let's take a quick step back. Episode seven, D girl that we watched first. Um, in this episode, uh, Christopher has a chance to show John Favreau one of his scripts, which by the way, before I started this channel, I had seen John Favreau and maybe a couple of things. And now I see him everywhere. Like he, I'm watching also the Marvel movies and he directs one or two or some of them. And he also plays Happy, forehead of security. And I also saw him recently in Elf. And I didn't realize how big this guy is. Now I see him in The Sopranos playing himself. So that was really awesome. In that episode, Christopher makes a lot of mistakes, including telling mafia stories that he's not supposed to share and cheating on Adriana and also getting kind of crazy and weird with Amy at the end. But then he kind of straightened himself up and he redeems himself by proposing to Adriana who says yes and I'm really really happy for them because I think she's so good for him and he decided to just like eyes on the prize and no distractions and just be the good guy that he's supposed to be. But then his two idiot goons decide that they want to move up in the game and they end up doing something really drastic, which was turn onto his leader, Christopher, and just shoot him almost dead. He doesn't die, or he didn't die in this previous episode we just watched, but he almost died. And these guys did it as a favor to Richie because Richie didn't like Christopher, even though Richie didn't ask him to do it and he wants nothing to do with it. I just don't get how they thought that would make get them some points. I don't know, they're stupid. AJ's existentialism is actually getting to Tony. And then Sal steps in, sort of as like the sponsor that he is for his confirmation, and talks to him and shows him and proves to him what kind of guy Tony actually is. Is that he's a good guy at heart, he's sometimes noble and whatnot. But then Sal breaks down under the pressure, the crumbling pressure of the feds that had him wear a wire for AJ's confirmation. I wonder if like they're gonna catch him being a rat or he's just gonna do what he did before and just pack his stuff and leave, which is kind of what I want him to do. And I'm starting to see Carmilla use her power for her own gain. Which is really fun because I keep feeling bad for her throughout the episodes, but now she's kind of showing her true colors and partaking in this privilege that she knows they have. 
Anyway, what are your thoughts in this episode? So don't forget to leave me a comment. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, go share with a friend and go follow me on Instagram at Christy Reacts where I share some stuff about my life. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.